Hey fluffs, fluff butts, gals, guys, and everyone else. I'm Hayes, or Hazelnut Tiffin, or just Tiffin, whatever. We're back with episode nine of making this partial fursuit. As I have said, as we've gone along, this is one of my very first pre-made, uh, no, in fact, this is my first pre-made partial. I've done fursuits for myself in the past, and we are currently just exploring and trying to get better. So in this episode, let me consult my notes. In this episode, which is episode nine, we improvise these eyebrow spots because you see eyebrow spots like this in, in a lot of art. So I thought, you know what? This seems exactly the sort of, this seems exactly the sort of head I want to use them for. So in much the same way we did these other spots, I want to do some slightly bigger spots on top. And I think they look cute. They're not this even thing, but you know what? Whatever. And we also did the mantle. Well, we patterned out the mantle, which in every fursuit I have ever made for myself in the past, I've always, always forgotten about. So even just the act of patterning it was a good thing. Thanks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, done. Cool, 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 cool. We are here. So this is our, this is our fursuit head as it is. What have I done since last time? Um, I haven't done an awful lot um, since the stream yesterday. What I've done is I've unpicked the ears because I was not happy with how I did those. And I, I need to think of a better way of doing ears in the future. But for now, um, I've unpicked it and we, we're just going to glue it down. And for that, I'm going to have to do some trimming on it before we... Um, I'm going to have to do some trimming on it before we get, um, before we get to that part. So that there's, so that I'm gluing the weave to the um, to the ears rather than gluing the fur, because that that will just get all wob, wob that will get all wobblers. That will throw a throw a wobbly, which is a perfectly normal, completely international uh, sentence that everybody uses. Um, yes, that that's perfectly not so. Um, I also, I was also playing about with, okay, so you might have noticed if you were here yesterday, I have, I have tidied the desk up massively and found all of my pins, which is nice, but I have cut out some eyebrow, some, um, eyebrows because I really, I, I was looking at, um, I was looking at FA and I really like the cutesy kind of big splodgy eyelids. Uh, eyebrows so we're gonna have those and those should work nice work nicely with our magnetic eyebrows of which I have printed off three more sets of magnetic eyebrows so when we get round to doing our swappable eyebrows uh, eye eyelids sorry we will have um, normal sleepy angry happy bashful uh, dopey I don't know we're, we'll figure out what expressions we're gonna give it later friends what do you think Also, I really want to right now. I, I saw a um, I saw a post on um, I think it was on Instagram. Might have, it might have been FA? No, it was on Reddit. Sorry, I saw a post on Reddit. Um, no, no, sorry, it was on a um, Discord server. It's on a uh, first we making Discord server, and it re and I now I really want to make a plushy. I really want to make a plushy switch. Me and you. So. Now that I'm now that I'm more com now that I'm more confident and comfortable doing spots because I, I shaved this down a little bit here and I am super happy with how I'm super happy with how this spot looks down how these spots look down here um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like shave it properly yet because I don't want to shave it until it's physically attached. But yeah, you can see you can see just how nice and defined that is. I I, I, I am. Oh, I, I I have surprised myself if that is not too big big headed of a thing to say. So, um, things we are doing today: we're going to put the eyebrows on, we're going to sort the ears out, we're going to include these little these little pink ear tufts, which I think give a fantastic kind of drawing V down to the front of the face. I haven't thought about how I'm doing the snoot yet, um, but there is a space for the snoot to attach to the, un to the undercarriage. Um, I'm probably going to um, 
I'm probably going to use a ba an extra balaclava to line the inside of this head because the inside of the head isn't particularly good. Um, we also need to do the mantle. That's one of the really big tasks to do so far, which is going to involve um, using my patterning paper and patterning out where the mantle is going to join under the head. And then that should be the last time we take this fur off the head. And when we take the fur off the head, because um, that, that, that'll be the last time we take the fur off the head, then we'll sew the mantle on, do any other touch-ups, like putting these, um, putting these eyelids on, and uh, eyebrows on. Why do I keep getting eyebrows and eyelids confused? Oh, and then it'll just, and then it'll be a case of, oh, when, when we take, when we take the, um, when we take this off, I need to prime the eyes because they are currently pink and I want them to be white, the, the, um, around the eyes. So we will be spraying, be spraying it with plastic primer, then gray primer. And then I will then I will be airbrushing them white so we get a nice thick consistent white and then we then we'll probably um, it might be tomorrow's job putting the eyes in but I think tomorrow tomorrow I hope to get a I hope to get to the point where tomorrow we can be doing eyes eyelids um, internals because I'm not happy with how the um, I'm not particularly happy with how the um, stuffing is, but we can sort that out later. In fact, I might actually have to do inside the mouth uh, today when we take the um, take the fur off for the last time. But yeah, but right now we need to pattern out. We need to pattern out this mantle bit, which is cool. So, where is my pattern paper? Who do we have in chat, by the way? I mean, no one yet, but I'm just going to say that periodically, you know. Also, I um, added lenses to the um, to the cultist mask, and let's just put that on. Yeah, that makes it look so much cooler. Ah! In fact, let's uh, look at my stream preview, and then I go like that, and I look around. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Right. Anyway, let's take this off. Ah! God damn it. Okay. Cool, 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 Under the fennec here. Okay.
Is here. What kind of animal is that? Uh, Kitty the Cupcake. Um, well, it, it started as a Toon Fox base. Um, but like right now, once it all comes together, it's kind of striking me a bit more of as a bit more of a um, red panda. Or, well, I guess a purple panda. The provisional, the provisional title for this, um, for this character, is Cookie Crumbs. It kind of looks like a dragon hybrid. Ooh, ooh, yes. I mean, if we want to go for, um, if we want to go for dragon hybrids, we've got this thing that is covered in, covered in, handmade, hand sewn, hand stuffed plushy scales that I made recently. But this is a this is a pangolin. However, I might end up um, I might end up shoving some horns on it and selling it as a dragon, since dragons seem to be way more popular. In fact, in fact, in fact, um, if you can have a look. Oh no, the phoenix in the way. Ah, oh, well. Um, if you want to see the tail, which is even scalier than this, and hand blood. No, there's not much hand blood in it. There's barely any blood in it. Come on. Don't scare off the newbies. Okay, and this goes... Look, I get few enough viewers as it is without you talking about... talking about how much bloodshed there is on the channel. You strike me as... You strike me as a person full of unknown other people's organs and not church pianos. What? All of the organs inside my body belong to me. 
That is slander. That is slander, sir. That is... You can't call me mum. I'm not some sort of fur, fur mama. Look, I'm either the queen of furries or I'm either the queen of furries or I'm the mother of them. Make up your mind. Faster, fister in my head, faster. Okay, Boomer. Oh, scales look wicked cool. And we can tell that it took a lot of extra effort to, yeah. Oh my God, did it, did it take so much time. Um, if you, no, I don't want to call anybody, go away. Um, if you go check out, um, yeah, uh, Kitty, go have a look at my YouTube channel, YouTube, youtube.com forward slash armored brownies. And you will see, and I, I've got a, I've got a walkthrough of what I have of the pangolin so far. It is the Purple Pangolin Pre-Made, the Purple Pangolin Partial Pre-Made Pop-Tart. Their, their pseudonym is Pop-Tart. Queen of the Furries, Queen of the Boomers. You get the Boomers the fuck away from me. <laughs> yeah, um... What is that? Oh, oh, their emo emoji. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I might like alliteration. <laughs> okay, so that's our purple. Then we need two of the blues for the mantle. This is, these are all for the mantle, by the way. This is always one of the bits that I kind of forget when I'm making heads. And this is white, so that goes at the front. Oh yeah, uh, so for those who didn't, those who didn't see on Discord, uh, we're putting, we're putting these little, um, we're putting these little eye, uh, eyebrows on it as well. Because I, because I saw some art today on, um, on Reddit and I really like the art style. So I am adding them because we're making this suit as, up as we go along and I make the rules here. Anyway, Kitty, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're okay. Um, what brings you here? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, from the username, I can guess. Uh, also, I had a um, so I had a look. Re I had a look this morning at fur for a full suit I've been asked to make, and I might be I might be looking at paying um, two hundred and fifty pound in fur alone. For, for a full for a full suit that I that I ought to make that I should that I'm gonna be making so um I was just scrolling through Twitch and saw a rare furry so I thought I'd drop by. Sweet our fur is that rare? Good if they are I'm gonna do my best to corner this market, yo. Maybe they're rare in this time zone? So, this is front. We might, if we get, um, if my long white fur shows up, I'm probably going to cut off a bunch of the bottom of this. So we've got like a chest up. One of us, one of us. Look, I'm either the most furry non-fur or the least furry f fur. Um, Also, I was active. I was active in the fan fandom since ninth. Uh, active in the fa fandom back in 1999. So, if you want to start talking about who, you want to start talking about who has seniority here. <laughs> My time in the fandom is incredibly long, though. That's only if you is only if you don't only if you don't count. That's only if you don't count contiguous time. Da -na 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 
da, na, 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 na. However, I, I have a... I have a congenital defect where I was born without a persona, so um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm actually. Um, don't forget, a, don't forget about not furry friend. F twelve twelve e what? There we go. So that's our white. So that goes like this up here <laughs> so that goes there cool now two blues two blues <laughs> you read the 12 as R you read the 12 as R no I don't clearly I don't Crims Provably, I don't read the um, 12s as R's. <laughs> In fact, I just proved I do not read the 12s as R's. Take that. All right, let's just double check this is the correct third direction. Uh, it is not. Let's go that way. Cool. I've dropped this. I've dropped his name in chat before. I mean, I I I recognise the um, I recognise the username. I I I know we've had them in chat before. So we want two of these. So I still haven't got the um, got my like plans for a mantle proper properly sorted. I need to pattern up. I need to pattern up like without a fursuit the mantle at some point just so i know the proper like shape i'm gonna start using for my uh, for my future suits also i've got like three super cute names for future for future um suits so so this is this is uh, left side. That's left side. Um, I don't see how people can dedicate themselves to a single character when it's so many. It isn't <laughs> when there's so many options that isn't even limited by limb numbers, let alone species. Oh yeah. Oh limb numbers. <laughs> Do I have plans? Also, left side is cute. Now also so. These are my these are my two adoptables. They both. Um, in case you doubt my legitimacy, I got these two adoptables recently, and not just because they both have my hair. Look at that hair! That's just my hair, and that's what I want my hair. That's what I wish my hair was like. And her undercut, her undercut is on the same side as my undercut. What are the chances? I actually, I'd never thought of an otter as well, so I won't declare, I won't say they're my personas, but they are definitely my characters, if that makes sense. <laughs> Left side is a cute name. No, it isn't. Stop. Stop that. <laughs> left side is a bit, is left, as a name, left side is a bit sinister I've got a character sketch somewhere that has eight arms oh that's so cool so one thing that one thing that people might not know about me and Crims probably does because he's probably been around when I've said it is I have a thing for characters with four arms they're one of my favorite sci-fi like I, I like like all like always i've always been a fan of creatures with extra arms and such i, I think it, it's something that really appeals to me um like one of my larp characters we we were all butcher surgeons and by the very end of the system we had we'd made ourselves these um giant frankensteinian horror bodies and we all had four arms which allow, allowed us to do nasty nasty things it was so cool um but anyway so, what, what, one of my favourite sci-fi author, his final book, his final, final book, and this is right, his final book that he wrote, um, the main character had four arms. 
They were close to human standard, but they had four arms because they because because there was an instrument called the um, antagonistic under Cajun string that that required four arms to play that she was trying to learn. And then, of course, all, all the plot of the um, all the plot of the book kicks off, and um, all of the plot of the book kicks off, and like she tries, she keeps on trying to escape this goddamn antagonistic under Cajun string, because she was trying to learn a um, she was trying to learn a piece of music called the Hydrogen Sonata, which is also the name of the book, um, but the whole time she cannot like. This this uh, this instrument conspires to like follow her around for the entire for the entire like events of the novel, and it is beautiful. I love that book so much, and it is the last uh, and it is the last sci-fi novel um, Ian M. Banks wrote before he succumbed to his cancer. And Ian M. Banks was his books were a massive influence on me. Um, as as a youngling, so right, yeah. Imagine I, I do have I I have plans drawn up for how to do f proper animatronic extra arms, and my my fiance is convinced he can program them, but they wouldn't be they would be slaved they would have to be slaved to your upper arms, which means your upper arms would have to wear accelerometers the entire time, and you'd be puppeting them from your upper arms. But then again, you could, in theory, like record and um, pause them or whatever. But you need, but it would like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of like uh, programming overheads, and I ain't a programmer, but my partner is, so that's cool. Right, this is right. My wa ha ha, my wa he, my wa ha, my wa ha, my wa ha ha. Razor blades, no, no my, no my a, no my, no my a, no my, no my, no my a. Think about all the extra dogs you could pet. Um, this might not work. No my, no my a. Uh, okay, no, there we go. We've got a nice big contiguous part. So that's good. Uh, and you're going that way. So if I put you there and you're going towards me. Cool. Uh, this is purple. Cool. A true nerd love story. Yeah. Oh, he is my true nerd love. We um, we walked down the aisle to, um, to the theme to the original Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, BBC series called um it's called journey of the sorcerer in fact you know what i'll play it to you because i i love that piece of music it's but it's by the carpenters who are who are an infinity old uh, journey of the sorcerer uh yeah, there we go. Joints, the jaw joints, and then I've 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 hooked it up with a spring. Also, so that's the end of that music. That was the music I walked down walked down the aisle to. This is not the music I walked down the aisle to, but this is also perfectly serviceable background background stream music. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've I've not seen an exacto knife, so I don't know how they I don't know what they are like. Um, if they are like scalpels, though, then they should they should be fine. If you're cutting it from behind, there we go. So that is the um, in fact. This is something I this is something I really enjoy doing. Is just taking the eyebrow. Ah, oh, I missed. In fact, let's uh, ta oh, no, yeah, taking the eyelid. Sorry. Nope. Come on. Almost. Almost. No. Come on. Yeah. And then other side. Other side. I think Exacto is, is the brand name. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't use any. I wouldn't use a brand name scalpel thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
That just shows how strong these magnets are. It's one of the reasons why I 3D print why I 3D printed the whole thing because I wanted these to be mechanically accurate enough that they would have a really good hold. Because I've heard stories of um, of of uh, changeable of uh, like changeable eyelids uh, falling off. So what what are we doing now? What are we doing now? The head's going to uh, the head's going to stare at you in the little camera um, just there for a little while. Um, there's a removable knife bit, so you can get a pack of five for the sticks, and then you don't have to worry much about dull ones. Um, so let's just let's just okay. So what what I buy, I get scalpel handles. These are standard scalpel hand handles. I have I have a lot of these, and then I buy um, these packs of each one of these has I think five or ten scalpel blades in it, and I buy them in packs of a hundred because I get through them so quick because I'm um, like fo foam and such uh, dull so quick but also um, but also like scalpels are just the way to go for for making I would take a scal I would take a single scalpel with with like but I take a single scalpel with unlimited blades unlimited uh, fresh sharp blades over almost every other tool thanks to um, thanks because uh, because like um, I'm a um, by training I'm an architectural architectural model maker because that's what my, well, my my degree is in model making but model making covers such a broad range of subjects but my my but like one of the big things we did was architectural model making but then again I used my degree to do animatronics so that was cool so first thing we're going to do before we go any further, before I forget about them, we're going to sew these. Um, we're going to sew the uh, eyebrows on. So we have them where we want them, and we're just going to flip it over. And because we flipped it over, because we have pinned it to the head, they're not going to move, and we can see where the pin is on the back. However, the seam allowance on this seam here is a bit fat, so I'm going to get it out of the way a bit. Exacto knife is another name for the retractable knife. Oh, okay. So are they a bit like this then? Because because I also use I also use these a lot. I mean, at some point, if you guys want, I'll do a I'll do like a full run through of all the tools I use on a regular basis. Would that be? Would people find that useful? Okay, so that's where it is. Cool. We want it to be in line with the um, in line with the top of the um, in line with the top of the eye, so it goes here. Cool. Okay, because one of the troubles we're going to have here, we, we need it to be even, and that's going to—I think it's a brand name. Yeah. Oh yeah, Exacto is definitely a brand name, and I think it's very much an American brand because we don't we don't get it in the UK. If you don't mind me asking, because if you if you're from America, isn't it quite early for you? How do we have eight viewers already? Wow! I know, I know people who watch lots of streams might think that like eight viewers is nothing, but that's um that's quite that that feels like quite a lot for me. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have um, started doing furry stuff earlier. <laughs> Just America, okay. Okay, now we've got this. So that was facing. That's facing that way. So if we flip it over and put it this side, we should have a pretty good idea. <laughs> Exacto is turned into a generic term for a hobby knife. Oh, okay. Doesn't sound very exact to me. Yeah, that 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 didn't work. 
Seven, 7 20, 7.30 for me, 8.30 for, 8.30 a.m. for me. Okay. Well, it is, um, it is 20, 22 minutes past two for me. And we're, and I hope to be going for about, I hope to be going for four hours. I suspect I'm going to be going for six hours. Um, because I want to get, because there's a bunch of things I want to get finished. So, if you're joining me, thank you so much for being here. Um, hopefully we will have, um, we'll have a good time together, friends. And you guys will see some, and you guys will get to start to see this come together. Right? Bearing in mind, this is this. Whilst I have made fursuits in the past, this is fursuit. This is like head two of uh, of of like suits I'm making for other people to the standards of the fandom, rather than as like generic cosplay things or um, or back when I was too young to really do things correctly. Anyway, Kitty, thank you for thank you for showing up and following. It is great to have you here, and I hope um, I hope you enjoy your time here. Head, head number of the suit five nine one. No, this is this is like the I, I think the absolute number of this head, if that makes sense. I think um, overall this 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 would be head. So there was Carbuncle. Uh, there was Carbuncle, there was my original fox, there was uh, Morgan, Pandaren, Ifrit, Dragon, Dragon, um, Pangolin, uh, uh, Pangolin and so Cookie. So cookie crumbs here will be head number nine in theory, depending on what you define as a fursuit head. Vetra doesn't count. Vetra is a prosthetic, not a, not a um, not a forehead. Vetra is a full prosthetic rather than a full costume head. If, if we um, if we're going to include Vetra, we have to include a hell of a lot of others, and then suddenly this is like my thirtieth. Oh, actually, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Um, we have uh, we have the Rat Ogres. I've got the Great Horned Rat and the Rat Ogre, so that's another two. But they were done very differently. They weren't third. They weren't third. They were foam latex appliance. They were foam latex like helmet mask things. Anyway, um, Kitty, I often find that um, people on oh, whoops, people on Twitch Creative, people who are browsing Twitch Creative, are creators themselves. Do you create things? Uh, do you want me to start? Do I want to start on my Gundam for the day? You have a Gundam a day? A Gundam a day sounds like a really nasty habit. Whoa, no, 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 stop dropping things. Stop drop and don't roll. I guess I'm a creator. What do you create? What do you create? Because because I'm not just interested in like other cosplayers, other fursuit makers, other physical makers. I'm interested in anybody who is passionate about mate, about creating anything. And I just love, I just love it when people feel good, feel good about like sharing things here. I just made a paper mache bird. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, that's really cool. What was it for? I made a bird.
I build one kit a week and now I'm slow build I'm slow building one kit. Are you slow building because it's gonna be a little while until you can get your next one? Because of the lockdowns. Um, when school was still a thing, we were in the middle of making a multimedia project that had that had to have text in it, and I had to have a bird in it. Oh, that's really cool! My um, my final major project at university was a bird, so that was cool. If you are interested in birds, maybe I'll get the video up later. Um, so the bird is made fr made from textbook images and they're captured from history. Oh, that's really cool. Shocking the citrus. Uh, sho shocking the city I go to buy them isn't shut down. Uh, um, oh, that's a. Uh, that's going to suck for people there in seven to 14 days. It sounds like you go to a um, good school if you're able to do that. If, if that's a project there. I never did anything like that at school. Alexander Davenport! Yeah! If I should say. Well, I'm on day. Ooh. I'm on. I'm eating a sausage sandwich. Well done. Well done. I'm not eating. I I don't get to eat until this stream is over. So um. And I have a list of things I need to get done before I can finish the stream. So. Yeah. Ah. Well, I've got coke. I've got my coke zero. Although they were sold out of coke, they were sold out of coke zero. So I only have what I have right now, which is only like only like half of a three litre bottle. So uh, the government, the government shut us down like two weeks ago, and we're just now getting work to do. Woo! Two weeks off. That's what I'm hearing. Closest thing, closest thing um, we had. So closest thing we had to this back when I was a kid was um, was one of the one of the kids at school um, had measles. So everyone else in school had to get a prophylax had to get a um, a prophylaxis treatment against um, against. Um, that had to have a treatment to try and prevent you from ca ca prevent you from catching it because if you know measles is really really um really really um contagious i might have just heard a jingle once <laughs> Sorry, I want to check every now and then that Spooky isn't sitting outside being all like nuh, 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 I'm cold and you're being rude to me when he could be in here um, with all you guys going Ah, oh, it's a cat! Look at the cat! And getting in my way. Uh, went to get my Vanilla Coke Zero the other day. Vanilla Coke Zero? Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Sounds like you dodged a bullet there. Vanilla Coke Zero. Eh, maybe it tastes different in the United States because you guys use different ingredients for your um, for your uh, drink, soft drinks. 
Like, for example, um, Coke over here has sugar in it. Whereas I believe over in the US it is uh, corn syrup. So, as I was saying yesterday, since we're, um, one of the things we are trying to do with this sewing is, is instead of like a lot of, a lot of seams where you have one piece of fabric come in and the other piece of fabric goes on top or like that or over it, that won't work for a, for a spot in for infer. What we need is for them to join up like this so that the, so that the fur, so that the fur is contiguous so we're sewing it in such a way that both faces are kissing each other which means whatever size uh, spot you cut out of your fur will always t turn out a little smaller because you're kind of sewing this hemmed edge in uh, I like vanilla vanilla flavor coke zero that's fine you're allowed to like. You're allowed to like it. I'm just razzing you, Crims. Also, Crims, you've missed some fantastic opportunities to troll me by um, by clipping things. So, thank you for not being around too much lately. <laughs> Although I should probably have clipped or marked or whatever the. Um, the story of Reaper Dick, so I can just send people to that instead of Andrew having to describe it over again. Or the story of my worst experience with A&E. Which has now been quoted back to me by, um, by viewers, so at some point I'll, I'll recount that story again. When we have enough viewers for it to be, for, when we have enough new viewers for it to be worth re recounting again. This is gonna look so cute. I hope. Maybe. Yas, Reaper Dick. God damn it. <laughs> until um, until the last movie I did work on, that was the most expensive uh, production any of my work had been in. Although the Adidas advertising campaign might have been. Um, Oh, there is also a clip of... Re oh, okay. But is there a clip of the story behind it? Because the story is a bit involved and clips can only be so long. Right. So we're tying it off. And we're going to stick this there. Cool. Right, let's see if it worked. Oh, look at that! Uh, brush, 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 brush. Brushy, 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 brushy. Uh, it'll need a bit of trimming and some unpicking. In fact, all of the um, all of the spots probably need some unpicking. So I should have done that off stream, if I'm honest. I forgot. I'm very sorry. So at some point, you're going to have to sit through me unpicking fur from seams, which is which is the equip, which is the um, first you do equivalent of sanding props down. Because if you've ever wondered what a model maker or a prop maker does for a living, it's like 90% sanding. Oh, how is that for an? How is that for a big splodgy eyebrow? <laughs> I love it! I love it! It's so cute! And the fur's going in the correct direction, which is always a bonus! In fact, all of the fur, as far as I'm aware, all of the fur so far on this head have wound up going in the correct directions. So that's, that's a nice bonus. Which is something I shouldn't have said out loud, because now I'm going to mess it all up. That's a sexy eyebrow. Alexander Davenport, I didn't know you were that way inclined. This is a fursuit, not a mursuit. Send you a pic of the side of the V-Coke Zero. Uh, what's on the side? 
Have you? I don't see it. Oh wait, where have you sent it? On Instagram. Oh, okay. Uh, Insta. Um, Discord is the best place to send me things. One request, accept. Taking, it's taking a little while to load. Right. What's on the side? Carbonated caramel colour phosphorus and Oh, What am I looking at? Why am I... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know why you sent that to me. Oh god, why did I have that giant cup of tea before the stream? Curse my British nature. I need, curse my British nature and tiny bladder. I'll be back in a sec. Peeps. 